YouTube, what's going on? Worst Racing Gamer here. Welcome back to Pocket Stables. We have not played this game in ages, as per tradition on this channel, because there's just too many games, and it seems just like the only way I can really play them all is to, well, not play them all, but play them all, but at a, you guys know what I mean. So many games, we can only play so much in a certain amount of time. I have no idea what we even did last time, as per tradition as well. As you can see, we have, um, I believe, Hal Norton training our horse here in the pool. We have Lenny. I think that's Lenny Ling, if I'm not mistaken. Let me ensure their names. So Hal's training um, in the pool. Lenny Ling is riding on the track. So that is what we have going on here. Now, Hal has been very good for training. Um, he has. In fact, he has been responsible for why a lot of our horses have done better. Um, he's really good at training. Uh, jockeying, yeah, I mean, he's okay. But training is really where he steps up. And we have Michael as well. I didn't realize we actually had three jockeys. Um, yeah, Michael, uh, 12 races, six wins. So clearly he's doing big things for us. And again, Lenny is also a solid jockey in her own right. We're going to continue to train her. Um not sure what we want to focus on here. Um, let's do us some jump roping. Keep Lenny in shape. I think she is pretty consistent for us as far as that's concerned. We'll do that. We'll have her focus on some endurance. Let's continue to try to keep her in as best shape as possible. Um, so that's all we'll do for her. How... Again, training is such a big part of his, um, you know, of why we have him. And again, he is really responsible for getting all of our horses in the condition that they've been able to get to. So despite the fact that he may not be the most talented when it comes to racing, he has been very central in giving our horses the edge that they need. Is that just a random foal walking around back there? Who is that? Yeah, it's Big Lola. <laughs> Forgot the foals just kind of just run around the farm. It's pretty cute. So as you can see, we got a lot going on here. We were able to expand. Uh, we have Michael Equus, our other jockey, our Equus, um, taking care of uh, Black Lab and then the other horse, which I cannot. Plucky Tom and Black Lab, um, which I think I renamed. Did I really call her? Is her name really Black Lab? Like a dog? It is. I changed Black Lola, and I gave it Black... Okay, well, it, it is what it is. Um, Let's get into some racing here. We have some new actions. They say we should buy some new things. Do I really want to? Land deed. Expand your ranch. We do eventually want to do that to have more space, but we're not going to worry about it now. We're going to get into racing here. Uh, we have the G3 Plum Stakes. Um, 1,500 prize. Let's see. Grass. So this would suit Black lab and fine charger one of those two horses um yeah no wins at this race now we've won the 16 mil qualifier four times but we haven't won this one yet speed and dexterity are key we can run two horses in this race and i think that's exactly what i'm gonna do uh, we're gonna put black lab in this race to give ourselves a chance and we have no eligible horses to run the second as far as jockeying is concerned i think michael or Lenny will be best. Um, technically speaking, Lenny is better overall. Statistically, her every category for her is better than Michael's. Every category. So we'll go ahead and put Lenny. And uh, that's what we'll do for the Plum Stakes, which is next month. Um, continue to earn our money. Now, if we go to actions, we go to upgrading. Uh, not what I wanted to do. Sorry. Actions. Upgrade. I don't think there's anything else we can upgrade as far as abilities are concerned. Um, temper, I'm not really too concerned with. Starter, that would kind of be nice to get um, a good jump out of the gate. So perhaps we'll upgrade that. Because, yeah, being able to get out the, the gate pretty fast is key. We can build the spa. Now, what does that help with? We can be in research on the spa, but that doesn't tell me exactly what it's going to help us with. But I'll get it because I can only assume it's going to be something that helps the horses in their recovery or, or whatever. So we'll go ahead and get the spa. And everybody's going to sleep now. And I think that's pretty much about it. Very nice. All right. 
usual routine maintenance charge just went through and now we'll be ready again for a race this month. In fact, let's also see if there's another race we can put any of our horses in. Uh, no, I can't. I forgot. It's only one race at a time. So uh, let's actually look at our horses right quick. Let's see if everybody is good. Plucky Tom, seven years old. He's still kind of got high fatigue. Nothing else he can really do. He's already maxed out. So as far as the training plan, it's just pasture, pasture for him. If we look at Black Lab, seven-year-old, also completely maxed out. Fine Charger, speed could still use a little bit of work. Um, so let's go to special training. And uh, we don't actually have money to really do anything. A massage will drop the fatigue. Maybe I would do that since I assume we'll be racing this horse next month. Um, could do this. It only costs $45 stride PR to boost the speed. So we'll probably go ahead and do that. Just want to get a little bit more speed. I know fatigue is going to go up. Again, trying to max out the speed. Because once these horses are maxed out, I mean, I think the only thing we have really left to do is to keep their fatigue down low and to work uh, with the jockeys. You know what I mean? So quite a bit of speed training here today for Fine Charger. It was necessary, I believe. Um, can't do any more of that. Now, as far as the training plan is concerned, pasture, pasture. Again, that's for everybody because they're pretty much all maxed out. Um, <laughs> there's really not much to do. Now, the foal, uh, we will spirit run wild. Who's, what, what horse is that used to be? Oh, that used to probably be Spirit Tom. So we changed it to Spirit Run Wild. But... Yeah, I mean, they're all pretty much maxed out. So the only thing we can really do is just like, I mean, this is, Fine Charter is the only horse that doesn't have a maxed out stat. So he's the only one who will continue to train. Everybody else is maxed out, and our focus is just getting that fatigue down. So we'll be ready to head to race day here pretty soon. And uh, see what's going to Spa is now here. Pump Stakes has arrived. Okay, I wanted to read about the spa, but I guess we'll do that afterwards. Now, we need to win this race because we have not won quite a bit of time. For whatever reason, I don't hear the game volume. It's just, like, not on, period. So I apologize for that. I'll see if I can get it fixed. All right, let's look at tactics here. We want to get out to an early early uh, jump. I think we should. So there's the one horse. Gate two is Adam's Apple, ridden by Timothy Lord. Gate three is Carrot Sticks, ridden by Watt Rivers. We are um, going to be the last horse getting in in gate seven. So Payment Plan, ridden by Tommy Ames. Gate five is Game Over, ridden by Chris. The second favorite after Carrot Sticks. And we're not even in the favorite today. It's pretty concerning. That means we have our work cut out for us. And Black Lab, ridden by Lenny Ling. He'll shine on grass courses. We get a little bit of boost in stamina. I'm going to see if uh, Lenny can get this horse out early, which is what we desperately need. Starter has waved the red flag, indicating this race can truly begin here. It's a field of seven, and uh, hopefully Lenny gets this horse out to a good start. Field of seven, and we're off. It's a slow start here for Lenny Ling and Black Lather. They're going to have the work cut out for them. She has increased her speed a little bit. We've got a while to go. I'm a little bit concerned, I'm not going to lie. We're sitting in third, fourth place right now. The leader is out by what seems like a couple of lengths. It appears like we're struggling, but maybe we'll have more stamina towards the end. I don't know. We weren't the favorite here today, so I think that goes to tell you a lot. But maybe Black Lab is just not cut out for this race, and clearly he's not. Three... What I'm going to say is three furlongs left to go. We are trailing, trailing. There is no answer. Absolutely no answer at all. And really, really disappointing results. I thought we would have had a chance maybe, but apparently not. The setting of the course is fine. Uh, clearly the distance, not okay. And that's, oh man. I mean, we were probably what? At least two seconds off the pace? Almost three, actually over three seconds off the pace. Oh, man, that's that's awful. So Black Lab, not going to get it done for us. What increased by three? Speed increased. How did that happen? Let's go to Black Lab. And yeah, that's uh, that's really unfortunate, man. It's really unfortunate. We'll do a massage just to drop the fatigue down a little bit. But yeah, that's uh, that's disappointing. I thought we were going to fare better. 
I mean, Black Lab, I think, is one of our best horses, so that's why that was also a really disappointing effort there. Um, yeah, Black Lab, without a shout of a doubt, I think statistically is our best horse. Now, of course, Spirit Wild Run has crazy stamina. Um, Black Lab stamina is not great. In fact, her stamina is actually the worst, so maybe that has played a role, but she's our only G3 horse. Everybody else is not even close to her yet. Let's work with Spirit Wild, Wild Run. He's only three years old. He has the best chance to probably move up, so we're going to put him in the 16 mil qualifier again, and uh, we'll, have, we'll have Michael ride with Spirit, and we could do another race here with Plucky Tom. I figure just to give ourselves the best chance. Black Lab probably would have no chance. Fine Charger as well. Um, I think we should do... Now, Plucky Tom, does he like dirt? He likes dirt. Okay, so we don't want to do that. So we probably will have Fine Charger here in this race. Fine Charger and Lenny Ling. So we got two horses in this race. We are trying to ensure we have uh, the best chance of getting a result. But yeah, that's a pretty disappointing effort there. Upgrade complete for the spa or starter ability. Okay, now let's look at the spa. Build. Yeah, so what, I mean, what does the spa help with? It doesn't even really tell us our details. There we go. Men, uh, breaks and injuries. I didn't even realize breaks could happen. So that's, uh, that's cool to know. And it helps with injuries. Uh, well, obviously. And fatigue. Um, so that's good. We'll build that once we have the money to do so. See how Norton is riding with fine charger. We have Michael on the track, getting some work in with black lab. Um, everybody's training plan should be like pasture. Nobody should actually be putting in any actual work. Cause like I said, they're all pretty much maxed out. So that's cool. So everybody's looking good here. We are still getting some experience. We have horses sitting out there, uh, with Lenny taking her time We're still generating quite a bit here at the farm which is good i probably need to upgrade some of these facilities even more if i can that'd be ideal in fact let's see where are people going the most back here to this gift shop now is there an item i can use there are no items well actually we'll change that let's go to actions let's go to buy items because there's nothing to do at the lab actions buy items Gonna boost appeal, blah blah blah. Boost facility value. It's probably. I mean, that's a lot of money for gift shops and rest areas. And newspaper. Um. Yeah, we'll go ahead and just get two of these. I should be able to use them now. Um, use this one. We should in, uh, increase the uh, the quality, and we'll use two. Continue to do these, it puts us in a position to obviously accumulate more money. Uh, feed and quality are up slightly, which means now uh, we'll be getting more money for people that visit, and that ultimately will help. So we have two horses in a big race here coming up, and uh, we need a good result here. I would like to get our get our. <laughs> Situation under control as far as uh, the finances are concerned. Um, there's products in stock, but we need money. I mean, we need a win here. And it is fall, I believe. Year seven in this playthrough, month nine. We have made it quite the ways. I, I think we're right about where I would expect. Be a big race here today. Big Lola has become an adult now. Wow, that was pretty quick. And uh, we're going to have to change that name, but inherited trait. Let's go ahead and look at what big lola has max speed max intensity max stamina plus 50 gate ability plus 20. so let's look at the stats for this newcomer horse who apparently likes the grass i need to put this in my spreadsheet right quick so uh i will call this horse i don't know what i'm gonna call them yet but i'll keep big lola in the spreadsheet and they like the grass so uh okay stats i mean intensity is good at a b plus already He'll be ready for the races soon. Train him well. So now we're going to have to obviously improvise our training. Um, I'm not trying to breed. I wanted to train. So Big Lola. Can we change the name? I thought we could. I just can't remember where. Um, no, there's a way to change the horse's name. 
Um, we could learn an ability if there's anything to learn. Hmm. Stamina, perhaps. Um, that'll take all of our money. I'm actually going to chill for the time being. Now, special training. Let's actually show the training plan. Uh, stamina and dexterity. Let's look at all these facilities. We have stamina, intensity, fatigue, and conditioning, fatigue, and injury, speed, and dexterity. Uh, we're going to have a program set up for stamina. Let's see, for intensity and stamina, for building stamina, dexterity. We're going to do some pool work, stamina and intensity. I think will help. We want this horse to be pretty gritty. So we'll do some pool work, and then we'll need the speed in there as well. We'll do pool and walking course. And um, we'll have some. We'll have Hal be responsible of training this horse now. Find Charger. Let's see, who is anybody? Okay, Mike is still working with Black Lab. We're going to take him off of Black Lab, and we'll put him on the Fine Charger. We need all of our jockeys to, um, we need all of our jockeys to work with the younger horses. The older ones are pretty much already where they need to be. So we got training set up. Uh, let's actually do maybe just a little bit of special training here. I mean, if we can. Let's, actually, you know what? Forget this. We're just going to go ahead and enter Big Lola in a race. I swear I could change the name, but I don't know where. Um, actually, maybe do I go to Ranch Horses? Yeah, probably here, right? No? I'll rename. There we go. Uh, we're going to call it Big Lola. Um, Big Lion. Doesn't really make sense. Um, hmm. I wanted to keep the L name the same, but um, actually, I don't even really like that name, to be honest. Um, we'll actually call this horse Night Lion. There we go. So Night Lion ready to go, and let's go ahead and get this horse in a race. Um, which we'll have to do next month. So we have two horses racing here today. Both uh, Michael and Lenny are going off here, racing with, I believe, Fine Charger. And, well, my horse names are not updated in my spreadsheet. As far as the tactics, um, Spirit Wild Run, we're going to have get out to a early start, since this horse has the stamina. And Fine Charger will have kind of be a closer, hoping they can come through in the end. So seven horses, two of our, two of the seven horses in this field are going to be ours. So we should have a good chance to get quite a bit of money. Flute Luke, ridden by Billy Smith in gate position number two. Three is Heather Honey. Or three, excuse me, is Kabaddi, ridden by Heather Honey. Four is Spirit Wild Run, ridden by Michael. He's got lots of stamina, and he is the favorite as he should be. Gate five is Fine Charger, written by Lenny Ling. He'll be at a loss on grass. Okay, so apparently Fine Charger does not like the grass. I thought that was the case. Maybe not, so I'll have to change this to dirt. Weird. Um, yeah, that was not correct in my spreadsheet, which is weird. Um, the Spirit Run Wild should be fine here. Obviously, it's the favorite. All right, here we go. And we're off. So Spirit Run Wild with Michael get out to a strong start. Lenny Ling and Fine Charger. They're sitting there back in fifth, but it is us and this other horse I wasn't really paying attention to. But Spirit Run Wild, plenty of stamina. Plenty of stamina. Lenny Ling trying to uh, get Spirit Tom, or Fine Charger, excuse me, in the mix. But we're still sitting in sixth place with Lenny Ling and Spirit Tom making a move here. She is in the fifth. She's trying to close down. It looks like Michael's going to get a very easy win on Spirit Run Wild as we wanted. Yeah, Lenny Ling has nothing left in the tank with um, Fine Charger. She's sitting in fifth place and looks like that's the best she's going to get. But easy win for Spirit Run Wild. A little bit of a closer at the end. Lenny's going to come in fifth place. So, yeah. It's ironic. It seems like Michael... Even though, statistically speaking, he's not the best jockey, it seems like we get more wins on him. Granted, Spirit Run Wild is our best horse. It's good money, though. Spirit Run Wild will finally change to G3 class, as he should. 
and uh, that, that's a solid win for the three-year-old. So with all that being said, um, we're going to go ahead and get into, into some training right quick with Night Lion since it's available now. Um, speed and stamina. I'm definitely noticing that stamina seems to work out pretty well for us. So that's certainly what I want to put an emphasis on. And we can only do toughness is probably the best. So stamina and dexterity is what we'll do for Night Lion. Get this horse trained up. 18 stam. We'll take it. And we'll do another training session again. And that'll be it. Because it costs a lot of money. And we don't want to spend too much. But we're getting the stamina up there. Which is good. So now we want to get Night, Ryan, Night Lion excuse me, in their first race. Uh, as far as what setting. I believe this horse actually likes the grass. So we should be okay. With finding a race on grass. Now here's this newcomer race. It is on the grass. Um, need speed and temper at the end. Here's a simple round course. They both need speed and temper. We didn't win that one or this one. This is 600 meters. This is only six. We're going to go ahead and do this race first. Night Lion, let's ride with Michael. Try to get that win. And that's really about it. Apply. That'll probably be the last race here. But that's exactly what we needed. Um, now let's see what else is continuing to make us money here on this farm. So people like taking the pictures a lot, I see. No open. No open what? Night Lion is not happy with something. So somebody's here talking about uh, flower arrangements and gave us, okay, whatever. That's cool. First day helps for exhaustion and sprigs. So wouldn't that be more useful to use, like, perhaps at the pasture? I would imagine. Would that help the quality at all? It does. Okay. So, peel goes up as well, which is cool. So that should help. Now, uh, the photos things, if I can get it, I have no items. This makes us quite a bit of money. $12 over there. Um, how much money are people using there? Does it even say, I wonder? 54, yeah. So this place does make us a lot of money. And actually, if I can drive up the appeal of that gift shop, we could probably make even more. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to actions here. I'm going to go to buy items. And we could boost. Let's see. What do we want to do? Newspaper. We could use that again. Affects visitor facilities, courses and rest areas, quality C, boost facility quality, boost facility value. Um, hmm. Let's go ahead and do, well, hold on a second. Now, looking at the value, the appeal is only at 23. I figure if we raise the appeal, more people would come there and we would probably make more money if I'm not mistaken. So um, let's go ahead and just buy like a couple of tulips if we can. I'm just gonna buy a few and, and see what it does. So we did that, uh, we'll come here. Oh, we can't use, I forgot, tulips is just for the, um, it's just for the overall map, so I would need to plant the tulips, like, somewhere, like, uh, out here, or somewhere over here. If I can even do that, I can't yet. That's not what I wanted to buy. You will use them, but I thought I was buying something else. Um, effects visitor facilities, let's try ranch poster. Just get that, get a newspaper. All right. Um, yeah, I know about my metals, blah, 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 blah. Let's go ahead and save. We can research add stock. What is that about? Lab. Add new storage to shops. Well, we don't have the metals for that, so that's unfortunate. This game is very fun. It's very fun. I always say it. It's essentially like a Pokemon version of a horse racing game, which is really fun. And um, I'm sure I haven't even still explored this game till it's, its full depths now. Again, what we're trying to do here, um, I have all these tulips. I have a lot of tulips, actually. <laughs> I can plant a lot of these. A spa, we still don't have enough money for. We could have, but it's fine. Um, stores, we have everything we need, but let's go ahead and plant these tulips. I guess we'll just continue to plant them kind of where they've been. Um, I like everything to kind of look uniform for the time being, so I want to keep all the tulips kind of in the same area. So you planted all the tulips, no pen. Oh, I forgot. This horse uh, needs needs space. We only have we only have four four stable or four stalls essentially, and we need an additional one. 
that's a problem. We'll have to work on that, and hopefully that'll start after today. Now, Night Lion, let's look at the rest of this field. Can we look at the rest of the field? Not really. Um, I'm not sure where this horse should start. They have his tactics set for the front. Um, hang back, gradually pull ahead. Yeah, I'll have this horse kind of stalk. I mean, it's 1,600 meters, granted, so maybe actually we should stay up front and break out at the end because I don't know how fast this horse is going to be compared to everybody else. So let's go through the post parade to field six. Gate one is Pegasus, ridden by Jeeves Whitlock. Gate number two is Giddy Up, ridden by Billy Smith. The three, Donkey Tin, ridden by Heather Honey. Watch out, Night Lion. I'm not worried. Queen Kame, ridden by Jackson Lions. We should probably be the favorite here today. Wild One, ridden by Sammy Cruz. And it looks like we are the favorite here today. On Night Lion, ridden by Michael. Lots of stamina. He's the most popular. I think Michael helps out a lot. I really do. For whatever reason, even though Lenny is statistically better in her attributes, Michael seems to be better at getting us wins, which I don't understand why. Doesn't really make sense. But uh, I'm not complaining. Field of Six. We are the favorite. Let's see if we can keep that. Pretty solid start here by Michael and Night Lion. Let's see if Mike Night Lion can break his maiden here today. He's looking pretty good here. Plenty of stamina left to go. Plenty of stamina left to go here. Running 26 kilometers an hour. Halfway through, still plenty of stamina left. And hopefully we have a, a nice late surge. Come on, Michael. Get him going. Get him going. Get him back in the race. It's going to be close. And the three horses coming up. And we're going to get second. Ah, how do we lose that? It's pretty disappointing. Did not break our maiden. We changed. Well, they, they'll give us the title, but we didn't win that race like I was hoping. So I need to build another pen, but that's um, that's not the result I wanted. It's a little bit disappointing. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, Sorry, I need to go to build. So we need another one. Uh, where are we going to put this? So guess we can put it kind of back in the corner. I think it's like a weird spot for it. We can't build it there. Hold on. Yeah, where can we build this, actually? Can we build it here? Oops. There it is. We can build it there. So kind of a weird spot, but it's fine. Um, so with that being said, that was uh, not exactly how we wanted that to go there with uh, this horse, but... Training plan, pull. Uh, we're still setting that up. We're going to need to do some special training. We do have some items, which we're not going to use here. Um, let's see. We could use one of those for horse ability. Not going to do that. Just going to do massages. Get that fatigue down as much as we can. It's not going to go down a whole lot, but anything's better than nothing. But yeah, that was a disappointing effort. That wasn't the result that we ultimately wanted from that race. So... Then we kind of got our work cut out for us a little bit here. But I'm hoping Night Lion will be able to come through and get a, get a win eventually. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, anybody else ready for a race? Plucky Tom is. So we have a 10 mil qualifier here. Now, Plucky Tom, what does he like as far as... He likes the dirt. Yeah. He likes the dirt. So let's see if we can find a dirt race for him. No, here we go. Um, five mil and up horses, tough dirt. We should be fine here. And yeah, I mean, look at Michael. His stats are not better than Lenny's. It doesn't make sense. None of his stats are better than hers, yet he seems to perform much better. We're going to go ahead and have, um, I'm going to have Michael ride this horse because I'm trying to see something. Actually, we can do two horses. We can probably have Lenny. Well, we tried Lenny and Black Lab, didn't we? And it didn't really work out too well. Not to mention Black Lab's fatigue is still pretty high. So we'll go ahead and do that. Don't worry, Night Lion. Your pen is being built as we speak. There we go. You're fine now. <laughs> Night Lion is like, oh, where's, you know, where's my pen? Where is it at? Where is it at? All right. We'll go ahead and use this to boost this facility. Price for quality should increase. Both do, which is great. So now we'll earn $55 here. Newspaper, same thing. Price goes, price stays the same, quality goes up. Actually, both do go up. So now we'll be making $56 there from when people visit. Um, The appeal is only 23 though. This appeal for the rest area is 11. This appeal is only 9. 
I'm just kind of wondering, it seems like people are visiting in those shops more. Is there anything about that in this game on how to get people to visit a certain shop more? You know what I mean? It's kind of making me feel like maybe I should... Um... Oh, this all the gift shops will get us $54 when people visit. So I'm starting to think that maybe I should um, update some of the other facilities, you know, in the meantime. So we'll save again. And I, I do want to put Lenny on uh, Spirit Run Wild, our best horse. I want to see how she's able to um, interact with that horse because Michael seems to have things dialed in for the most part. Granted, he finished second in that last race. And um, as far as our running style is concerned, perhaps... I don't know if uh, having him run as a closer would have been any better for us. Let's see if we can enter a horse in another race. Let's see where the fatigue is. So Plucky Tom, ready to go. Already racing here today. Black Lab. Like I said, I think we tried Lenny and Black Lab. Spirit Run Wild, we're going to get him in a race. Um, I guess I have to wait until after this five mil. Forgot. It's weird that it does that. So there's Hal Norton on Nightline doing some training here. Five mil has arrived. We're going to go ahead and head out here with Michael and Plucky Tom and see if we can get ourselves a win. So tactics with Plucky Tom. I'm actually going to have just take the lead early and see what happens. Ultimately, I'm going to do that and see if uh, that is working better for us. Gate one is Looper ridden by Sammy Cruz. Gate number two is Westerly, written by Jeeves Whitlock. Uh, for anybody that hasn't played this game and is unfamiliar, the reason why you wait for this post parade to go through is because you get a bonus. And looks like we're going to be the favorite here today, which is great. If you skip this, your horse doesn't get a bonus in any category. Um, you see we get lots of stamina boost, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I don't know why. Michael just seems to kind of be the good luck charm here. For us, but I want to get wins on Lenny Ling since she is clearly the better statistically of the two jockeys out of all of our jockeys, quite frankly. You just want good results, but yeah, I don't know. It seems like Michael's is a little bit more dialed in. So here we go. And we're off. So great start here by Michael and Plucky Tom heading out straight towards the front. And, um, yeah, it looks like we are firmly in control here. I'm pretty sure we have plenty of stamina left to go. The intensity is uh, looking solid here. Really strong run. It doesn't seem like we're going to face any real resistance here. And uh, maybe I'll try this for other horses. Maybe we just, maybe we need to get out to an early lead. I mean, look at that. All that intensity straight through to the end. Strong finish. My goodness. Big win there for Plucky Tom. Four seconds, basically. $800, we'll take it. That's a fantastic win. That's exactly what we needed. And Michael continues to rally in the Ws for us. So it's a lot going on here, people. It's a lot going on. We're going to do some more training. I want to get Spirit Run Wild in a race, and I want Lenny, Re Lenny Ling to run with him. Now, let's see. Uh, he likes, I think the dirt will work better for him. Yeah. I have grass in my notes, but I think grass is incorrect. I, I think he would be better off on the dirt, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so we'll try to run this race. We've won it. It should be fine. Spirit Run Wild. We'll have Lenny go ahead and take control of that one. We can run two horses in this race if we want it. Like we could do Black Lab, have Michael run with Black Lab again. Um, that's actually what we're going to do. Increase our chances to increase. Uh, get even more money of course Hal is just purely the uh the trainer so we're gonna do that also we go to horses we're gonna go to black lab here we're gonna go to special uh training we're gonna get that uh some massage training in to reduce that fatigue essentially down to zero and uh this horse should be in a good spot ready to rock and roll here and this will be the last race of this video last races i guess i should say so we got that going uh yeah, Nightline still looking pretty good. Special training. I mean, I could do something if I wanted. Speedster would give us more speed. Or Agami gives us dexterity and, and intensity. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the Speedster training. Try to keep that and the stamina together. Not plus 9 in speed. Um, like I said, we're not going to learn any abilities just yet. What I want to continue to do... 
as we go back to the well, is there anything to upgrade in the lab no as we go back to the shop um what we want to continue to do uh we've got mare's milk i don't even know what that does but cool is it something we can buy now for ice cream and restaurants i don't even think we have restaurants yet so how on earth would that apply to us I don't think can we even build a restaurant? A pretty like if we go to stores, gift shop, ice okay, we well we do have an ice cream shop. Where is the ice cream shop? I think right there. No, that's the rest area. Do I even have an ice cream shop here? I don't think we do. Yeah, we just have gift shops. We don't even have an ice cream shop. Or do we? No, yes we do. It's right here. Okay. Let's use Mare's milk. So it's ten dollars at the ice cream shop that we're getting. Now it's gonna be plus fourteen and quality goes up. Great. Fantastic. All right. Appeal jumps up to 24 from that. We'll be making $16 from the ice cream shop. Actually, let's go to actions here. Not sorry. I meant to go to uh, actions. Buy items. Mare's milk. Can I buy like more of these? So there's only two in, in store, which is fine. We're going to get those. Um, probably use newspaper again. We want to continue to boost up all of our shops so we can make more money more passive income essentially so we're going to continue to boost up this ice cream shop uh, if we can and this businessman needs to get out the way go ahead and use mare's milk again and that should give us again more boost so ice cream shop is going to go up in price and quality and uh, we'll go ahead and keep that where it's at um, let's go to this picture thing let's go ahead and use mare's milk here to see how much this may or may not help doesn't help in price apparently just the quality let's use a newspaper um price still doesn't go up quality is going up huh okay um well, i guess we should just continue to increase the uh the ice cream shop even more if we can let's see if the price will go up is it 19 dollars right now sweet the newspaper does help we'll use two more of these and even more more um fees and, and quality increase which should help us bring in even more passive income so last race here of the day and uh oh we get medals here for this uh, memorial panel see i would like to increase the appeal of this more however possible in fact let me see if i can do something for that um we've already done tulips that's like that stuff boost quality seed let me actually try buying one of these and then using it for this memorial panel and see if it actually helps it, if it helps anything. So it does help the quality go up, but the price doesn't. So I just wonder, quality is now up to essentially 55. Price is still the same. I want to do one more thing here. Bear with me. Actions, buy items. Um... For courses and rest areas, we wouldn't benefit off of that. Natural spring. We already did that. Stopwatch. I don't think there's really anything else I can buy that would help, perhaps. Um, that stuff we would plant. We just did that. Yeah, neither of these would really help. So I think we've purchased everything we could get. Um, good thing is, though, our, our passive income should be pretty nice um with with these upgrades and we're gonna continue to put more into our gift shops more into the ice cream shop that way we can continue to accumulate more passive income so everybody is uh going to their stalls back to their their living quarters and last race of the video here hal is the last jockey to be able to get back home late late night for him and it is winter last month here and Again, last race is in this video. Everybody comes out ready to go to work again. And I, I would think this 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 place is a pretty happy place to be for the most part. We make decent amounts of money. Our trainers get to spend time. Our jockeys, I should say, get to spend time with the different horses and train them. And, you know, I want to continue to make those jockeys even better. I think that'll help out a lot, even if we per se don't get great horses. Now, as far as tactics here today... Spirit Run Wild, we're going to have, going to get out to an early lead. I'm actually going to have Black Lab go straight to the front. I'm just very curious on how that will do. Now, I think, I think Lenny is riding with Spirit Wild Run, and she is, and this is the favorite. 431 stamina. I think a lot of that comes from Lenny, so that should be an easy win for us. We have Michael riding on um, 
Michael is riding on the other horse. Um, let's see who else we have in the field. Yeah. So Michael will be on Black Lab here. And uh, this should work out for us. I mean, a one two would be great. That would put us exactly where I want to be financially. But beggars can't be choosers. We'll take a win for Spirit Wild Run. And then we hope that Black Lab will be able to finish somewhere between second and third. Starter waves the red flag, indicating this race can truly begin. It's a maiden race field of six. We have post positions one and three. 420 stamina for us with Wild Spirit Run. Only 144 for Black Lab. And a uh, very good start here for Michael on Black Lab. Gets her out fast, and that's exactly what I um, gets him out fast. That's what I wanted. Lenny now. She has plenty left in the tank. We are kind of blowing this field apart here. It is one and two for us. Michael is coming back at Lenny. Both of our horses are racing down to the wire. Lenny's going to try to pull through at the end with Spirit Wild Run, and she gets it done. Black Lab, great result there. Michael getting that horse out in front. I, I figured maybe if we try that, it could work. And it appears Black Lab does better staying out in front. So we get $840 for that. It's the one, two that I wanted. And Lenny Lean on Spirit Wild Run with the win there. Great result. Great result. Not as much money as I would have wanted since it was a, a lower race. But still, that was a great result and pretty much exactly what we needed. Now, as far as the jockeys are concerned, um, let's. Uh, Lenny looks to be really strong here. Her salary is higher, which obviously means she is the better. We're going to go ahead and give Michael some training. Um, probably endurance. That just seems to help out a lot. So I want to continue to uh, drive that endurance up for our jockeys. Because getting that boost in the races has really seemingly helped us out. So we'll continue to train Michael up. And uh, continue to increase that ability for him. Um, we probably could hire another jockey, to be honest. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that necessarily, but let's see if there are any really good ones. And I'm not going to fire anybody because I think all of our jockeys have been doing well. But um, Boar's Beefy. Interesting. $345 contract to buy this jockey. And as you can see, training is already at 56 so not bad, but would I want to spend that much money on a fourth jockey? I mean, I totally could. But compared to what we already have, if we look at, I mean, of course, Hal, like I said, Hal is purely just a training jockey at this point. Um, we don't really race with him anymore. His salary is lower and his training's at 58. I figure it's better just to stick with him as opposed to paying for a new jockey. Could we race that new jockey? Yes, but I'm fine with just sticking with Michael and Lenny being our two primary racing jockeys. So only difference is buying that new jockey, or I should say hiring that new jockey. I don't want to speak in video game terms, but hiring that new jockey more than likely would give us someone better than Michael um, based off of the stats alone. So that could help us win out even more. But do I want to do that? Michael has been good. Um, and I wouldn't necessarily want to fire him, but... I mean, if this helps us win, let's see. If we hire Boris Beefy. Okay, we've hired Boris, and we have four jockeys now. I don't know, like I said, if I want to fire Michael yet. He's done so well for us, but Boris statistically is the better jockey. Higher salary, but that's fine. That's what I want. Um, we only have three jockey houses, I believe, so we may... Michael's done well for us, but um, I think Boris is the better of the two. And right now, uh, we need Boris to help us. So, Michael, you've been good. I know, Michael. I know. It's a little, it's a little tough out here. It's a little tough out here, but uh, I felt like that was necessary. I felt like this will give us the best chance of really uh, bringing in the winners that we want. So, let's see if he can jump rope. Hal can't jump rope to save his life. Apparently, Boris is, wow, six plus six in jump roping. That is huge. I was not expecting that. Let's do whip use and train up. Let's see how this will go. Complete, only plus one. Okay. Let's try it again. Yeah, I feel bad about releasing Michael. I didn't really want to do it, but, I mean, I wasn't really going to utilize him. And unfortunately for him, Boris Beefy is better in essentially every category. So it just kind of was a no-brainer to me. Okay, we're going to go to horses, we're going to go to train, and we're going to make sure that uh, everybody has someone. 
Uh, so Howl is still working with Night Lion, which is fine. Lenny is still working with Spirit Wild Run, and I guess we'll put um, Boris Beefy with Fine Charger. Um, actually, Lenny and Spirit Wild Run. Maybe we should switch. Actually, we're going to go ahead and switch. We're going to go ahead and put Boris with... Uh, not sorry, I'm all over the place. So we're gonna stick with Howl with Night Lion. Boris is gonna train Spirit Wild Run, and we're gonna move Lenny to training Fine Charger. That that should be good. So Boris Beefy, welcome to the family. We got five horses here, and uh, I believe that's all we need to do. Hopefully we're continuing. It's a lot going on in this farm right now, a lot. But guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Appreciate your love and support on the channel. As always, we'll be coming back with this game here very soon. I always enjoy it when I hop into it, and I still feel like there's so much for us to do. At fifty-four dollars of those gift shops, that's really coming in handy, man. Really coming in handy. Appreciate you guys' love and support as always. But until next time.